Four years ago, the ice bucket challenge went viral. Three. Thousands participated, starting with Pat Quinn, who co-founded the challenge. Quinn became the voice of ALS after he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, a progressive neurodegenerative illness. ALS is a, it's a tough disease. It's not very well known. Creating awareness and being an advocate is what I wanted to do. He spoke out over and over again. Every August until a cure. Every August until a cure. He spoke out until the disease took his voice. Quinn did not let this stop him. Using an eye gazer, he continued his advocacy work online. He even reached out to me on Twitter to let me know about an amazing development, giving him his voice back. A technology program called Project Revoice recreated his voice from his many speeches and interviews. This was the day his family and friends gathered to hear him speak again in his own voice. Time to say goodbye to this computerized voice. Sorry, I'm not going out that easy. To be able to hear him ask, talk, um, we watch a game or something and he'll say, wow, did you see that or something? It's almost like we can have a conversation now. I will make sure my voice is heard again. Yes, who's that? <laughs> $120 million was raised with the ice bucket challenge. Several genes linked to ALS have been found. Now treatments and trials are advancing. The ice bucket challenge started that hope, but we need to push harder until people are living with this disease, not just dying from it. Money Raised is now making the Revoice technology available at no cost to all ALS sufferers to allow them to record their voice before it's gone. People who saw Pat take the ice bucket challenge and, and saw him speaking have seen and have watched his progression through the disease because he's been willing to share that. Now this enables him to go out, to, to speak more, to use his voice, to be that leader of the, the ALS community that he is. Now with my voice back, I feel like I just got another little piece of me back. Quinn speaks in Washington, D.C. this week, where he is using his voice once again to push for more research to find a cure. Mary Calvi, CBS 2 News.